bones There was something going on That shed a doubt Hanging around God old Cause darling there was nothing right When all you seem to do is lie Those days are gone I'm walking tall While you're alone my channel today's video is super fun because we are headed over to my mom's house to decorate for fall and she's super excited and so I need to head to TJ Maxx and Michaels in Burlington and grab a few more decorations she has some already at her house and I'm gonna bring some that I don't use anymore from my house um, but I wanted to grab a few more things to make her little coffee area cute and a few other things so we're gonna go shopping but first I grabbed some firehouse subs for lunch and I'm gonna run through the car wash and eat my sandwich and kill two birds with one stone and then we're gonna head and go get decorations and then I may go get her and I a coffee from Starbucks before we start decorating so a little fall or a little fun fall day if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed I would love to have you but let's get started super wash please deposit the amount shown This is like my favorite thing to get at Firehouse Subs. It's the Engineer and it has shredded turkey and mushrooms and onion and it comes with a pickle. So good. So many Hi, can I get a grande iced pumpkin spice latte with no whipped cream? And then also a grande caramel macchiato hot. Okay, I grabbed our coffee. I got our decorations. We are ready to go in and decorate. But just for a little background on my mom and dad's house, they are actually living in the church parsonage right now. Um, if you didn't know this, my dad is a pastor. And so right now they're living in the parsonage and it's an older house, but my mom has it fixed up so cute. Her kitchen is decorated in like farmhouse stuff with cows and pigs. And then the rest of her house is just super cozy. So y'all are gonna see here in just a second. Okay, I went ahead and laid out all the decor I picked up on my mom's dining room table and I'll go ahead and tell you real quick where I got everything um, and then we're going to start decorating. But I got that little wheat garland from TJ Maxx and I thought that would be so pretty on her TV stand. I picked up this little table runner from Burlington and it has tassels on it and she has always loved tassels so I thought that would be perfect. And I wanted a lighter table runner because her table is kind of dark and I think I'm going to put some garland on that with some pumpkins. I picked up that cute little doormat for her front door from... Target and I have a little black and white checked mat to put underneath it. That little leather um, quilted pumpkin is from TJ Maxx. That little Martha Stewart orange wreath is from TJ Maxx. Um, this little small wreath candle holder thing is from TJ Maxx and I may or may not use that. I picked her up some Starbucks coffee and that little orange pumpkin mug is from Target. Got some candles from TJ Maxx, an espresso and walnut one and a pumpkin vanilla one. And then this little thing came from Burlington. I'm standing on a chair to try to get a better shot of everything. But this came from Burlington and I thought that would be so cute for her coffee bar area. Got her some Mrs. Meyer soaps and some stuff to make some cookies later. And then a little metallic pumpkin from, I believe, TJ Maxx. And then I got her this cute little bicycle from Burlington. And I thought that would be so cute if we stuck some little fall leaves or little tiny mum in the front in the basket. She loves bicycles, so that's why I picked that up. This wreath I think I'm going to use in her kitchen on her little antique window. And then these beautiful knit pillows came from Target. And the pillows she has in her living room right now are already kind of fall. So I don't know if I'm going to end up using those or not. But I thought they were really pretty and they give a lot so you can kind of karate chop them. I also picked up a garland. This is the same garland I have. It's my favorite fall garland. And it's from Michaels. I will have that linked below. This little blanket came from TJ Maxx. And then this one came from Burlington. So, let's go ahead and decorate. There comes a time I won't belong On the streets and there's crowds and there's room in your eyes 
It was such a pretty day so I decided to start on the porch but by the time I got done with the porch it had gotten so hot outside so I was sweating by the end of this but I decided to go ahead and wipe down the door first with Mrs. Meyer's multi-surface spray and the apple cider scent and everything was smelling so good and just like fallout here and I'm gonna sweep off the porch I'm gonna add two big hay bales over there on the left to kind of fill that space and we're gonna add some scarecrows later on um, I did have to stop in the middle of this porch decorate and run to Walmart because Oliver ran out of formula and I also had to grab some mums that were a different color so I'll share that here in just a minute when I add those mums in but I picked up this little mat from Target and it is so pretty I wish I had this one for my front door too but I love the way that this looks with her black front door and then I did add that Martha Stewart wreath on the door but I ended up liking the one that I had on my front door with the black door better so I changed it out and I'm gonna put that other one on my door until Halloween and then I'll switch it out again but I also wanted to try out the mat that I had at my front door underneath this mat but I ended up not liking that so much I really loved the way that the black and white check popped with her black door so we're gonna change that back in just a minute and these are the mums that I ran to Walmart for in the middle of my decorating um, I wanted something that was more of a like a maroon I guess color that matched the rug a little bit better to tie in the wreath the rug the mums and the pillows on the bench and we had a lot of colors going on here, so I was trying my best to tie it all in, and I think it turned out really pretty. I decided to tone down the pillows on the bench to help with all of the colors going on. And then I added these yellow mums to this bucket that she had in her living room. It's a Magnolia Homes bucket from Magnolia in Texas. And Oliver actually loves this bucket, so I don't know how long it'll last out here on the porch. Um, but I decided to stick the mums in it for today, and I think they look beautiful there. They also had a purple mum sitting there, so I added that over there on the left. And my mom, since I was a kid, has always decorated with scarecrows in the yard. At, during fall so I decided to add some scarecrows on her porch I added a big one with a pumpkin on top and then some little ones down below How stinking cute is my mom's kitchen? She has it fixed up so country and cute in here and I love it. She has a little cotton wreath above her sink on a little antique window. She has a farmer's market sign. And I didn't show this, but above her cabinets, she has lots of little cows and pigs and all this little farmhouse stuff. And it's so cozy and cute in here. And she really has just made this kitchen look totally different than when they moved in. Um, but I am gonna switch out this cotton wreath today because it had lots of greenery on it and it kind of looked like spring so I'm gonna add in this sunflower wreath and then we'll go ahead and wipe down the counters and add in some pumpkins
So as I was decorating her house, I was trying to keep in mind her style, but also add my own little twist on it. So I did add that little glam pumpkin on her counter um, because Lauren Yarbrough decorated her house, so there's gotta be something glam. So I added that pumpkin that's from TJ Maxx, and then I added some Mrs. Meyer soaps on that little wood plate. And then I added a give thanks sign on top of her microwave with that little sparkly acorn from Hobby Lobby. Those acorns are gorgeous. They're like a gray sparkle color. And I think I'm gonna go get some more from my house because I fell in love with those. But now we're on the other side of the kitchen. I'm just gonna wipe down these counters and then we'll fix them up. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far I am a sucker for matching K-Cups displayed, so I went ahead and took all of their K-Cups out. They had Pete's Coffee in there, and that is like my favorite coffee ever. But I love the color of these Starbucks K-Cups because they're like a fall color. So I switched them all out to that, and then I added a few Pete's on the back when I got had some extra room. And they also had some pumpkin spice coffee in there, and my little brother told me that my dad loves that. He'll drink a pumpkin spice coffee with pumpkin spice creamer. And my mom's not really a pumpkin spice person, but I think it's funny that my dad is. But I went ahead and added a little pumpkin mug there from Target and a really warm and cozy candle. And now we're headed over to the other side of the stove. On the road with a couple of tunes in a carpet too. Over on this side of the stove, she had a lot going on because she doesn't have very much counter space in here. Um, so she had her toaster and a big thing of spoons and some other stuff. So I went ahead and cleared all that off and she had this tray over on her kitchen table and I just moved it over here and I brought that little wood bin because I don't use it anymore and I'm going to add some wood spoons and some metal spoons to it to make this area look a little bit less cluttered and then we'll put the rest of her spoons in her spoon drawer. And then I added that little flower arrangement from Hobby Lobby. I love that. It's so pretty. It, it has some like fall sprigs coming out of it. And then that big acorn is also from Hobby Lobby. And I think this area looks so cozy. I took this tablecloth off because I wanted to use a table runner instead but then once I did it I realized the tablecloth looks so much better so I went ahead and just stuck a little metal pumpkin there with some garland around it I think that looks really cute and cozy over there in the nook and I opened up her kitchen windows because their backyard is so beautiful and there are so many birds tweeting and it was just so relaxing they don't have any neighbors close to them so it's just such a relaxing little kitchen And this is one of those moments where you say, tell me you're a Nana without telling me you're a Nana. She had a million Nerf gun darts in her couch cushion, but I went ahead and pulled off her other pillows and I'm gonna add in these beautiful knit pillows from Target. I am obsessed with these. I kind of want some for my house now. Um, but once I did this, she goes, wait, I think I had those orange pillows there because it helped tie in the color of the recliners. <laughs> So I think they chose their recliners for comfort and not because they match their couches. So I did go ahead and add back in her little rust colored pillows on top of the knit pillows. So we kind of did a little layering situation. And I, th I think it still turned out really pretty and it did help tie in the rust colored recliners. And now I'm just wiping down her ottoman. This is another thing I need at my house because it has drawers on all the sides and she puts all of the grandkids toys in there. And Oliver loves pulling those drawers open and getting his toys. And not only that, but since he's learning to walk, he can walk all the way around that and he can bonk on it and it doesn't hurt. So I love that thing and I need one for my house. I would love to have it in like a camel brown, but we'll see if I can find one of those. I went ahead and added back in those pillows and we're moving on.
We're gonna do a little lamp swap real quick because my mom was trying to find the other lamp that matched that one on the left and someone apparently ran off with her lamp so we're just gonna switch out both of them so that they match and then we'll go ahead and add those pumpkins over there on the other side. And it's not a fall clean and decorate unless you add a really cozy throw blanket. So I just picked this one up from TJ Maxx. So cozy. We have a similar one on our bench in our front entryway. And I wanted to showcase my dad's artwork. I've showed y'all before, but my dad is an artist and he is incredible. And those two fall paintings are so beautiful. But that one with the waterfall is probably my favorite. But they have his paintings all over their house. He's won awards and the ones that have awards have ribbons on them. And it's just really neat. And if you guys want a painting from him, you can always email me. I've said that before and I've had several emails come through. He can do all kinds of landscapes and some other things too. But such a good artist and now we're headed over to the TV stand and I'm going to use my Mrs. Meyer spray again. It's the apple cider scent and wipe everything down and this is the wheat garland I picked up from TJ Maxx and I love it with those sparkly acorns mixed in but I did end up changing this in just a second. Let's get in the car and you'll drive we're leaving tonight away from these streets and the cold buzzing me This time we'll just keep driving. You've got one hand on money, one hand on the steering wheel, worlds passing by outside. The flickering light of the white lights in the corner of my eye. I'll never leave your side. I'll never leave your side. I'll never leave your side. And I don't think there's anything my parents don't have somewhere in their house or in their garage. I was telling my mom, I was like, this would be so pretty if you just had some little twinkle lights in there. She goes, oh, hold on, I'll be right back. And she came back with like five strands of string lights. So I added those in and I think they look so cozy. And now we're just going to vacuum this room up. If worse comes to worse, I'll be Bonnie and you can be Clyde. We've got two hearts ready to fire and enough ammunition A 62 hard top to fill with a four speed transmission You've got one hand on money, one hand on the steering wheel, worlds passing by outside The flickering light of the white lights in the corner Okay, I had big plans for this tablescape in the dining room and they kind of fell flat, I'm not gonna lie. I had planned to put that white table runner on here with the tassels and put the garland that I used on the TV stand on top with some big old pumpkins. Um, but then I realized this week garland did not look good on the TV stand and the living room is where everybody is the most. So I wanted that to look really pretty. So in here I decided to swap out the white table runner for the rust colored one and this one 
is not what I was envisioning, but it's okay. I went ahead and added the wheat garland on top with some sparkly acorns, and I think it's really pretty for now. And we can add in some maybe maroon stuff and some white pumpkins later on for Thanksgiving, but for now, it looks really pretty. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I had so much fun hanging out with my parents on this day, and I am so thankful to have sweet parents right down the road. I don't think there's really a bigger blessing in life than that. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. And thank you so much to my mom and dad for letting me and Oliver crash their house for the day. But I will see y'all on Thursday with a brand new video back at my house. Bye!